this tool the Osmo Pocket is really a tiny small versatile camera in your bag and it can go places to where your big ass SLR or mirrorless cameras cannot even peep into so last weekend I was getting bored went with my friend on his Royal Enfield 250X for some grilled chicken and this is what I came up with from the back seat. So that's the montage from that evening I hope you liked it so in this video I'm going to give you five tips which you need to keep in mind if you are planning to shoot in the night with this small tiny Osmo pocket let's start first use 4k 24 fps do not use 4k 60 fps or 1080p 120 fps because more the frame rate higher the shutter speed and you are going to see a lot of noise Second, do not use slow-mo. Avoid using slow-mo. I know many of you get excited with the tools. This small camera having slow-mo keep on doing a lot of slow-mo but in night it's not going to help. The sensor is way too small. You only should be using the slow-mo in the daylight or only in situations when you have enough lights. In the night, avoid shooting at slow-mo because slow-mo is at 120 fps at 1080p and 120 fps is like 1 by 240 shutter speed which is really high and you are going to see a lot of noise avoid shooting at 4k 60 fps avoid shooting at slow-mo use 4k 24 fps or even 4k 30 fps use at just shoot at regular 30 fps 24 fps and you should be good to go third use the promo here in the osmo pocket go to the settings here you see the AFC then the pro mode go to that click on the pro mode and you should be able to see one small icon about here saying pro 4k 24 pro and on the pro mode go to the color and change it to D cine like that is the main color profile you need to select so that you can get a lot of contrast in the image while you can go back to your NLE editor and get the look which you are trying to achieve. Fourth know how to use the tool do not just buy it and keep on rampantly using it here and there with rampant motion know how to use the tool take some time get some experience using the tool using the gimbal and you should be able to get some nice footages fifth composition is key you cannot just get a tool and keep on rampantly using it here and there and get the shots and it's going to look cinematic or look good it's not going to do that you need to have in mind the frame which you are trying to achieve the composition is the key because until unless you have the right composition the footage is not going to look cinematic and no one is going to look at your footage or the video and the sixth point since the sensor is so small you are going to see a lot of noise in the night times so you need to use some kind of denoiser which is again expensive like $99, $199 for the license. Either you go ahead and buy a denoiser software for $99 and get those noise out. It's not going to get out completely but at least you can get out like 30 or 40 percent of the noise. And if you don't want to do that, you don't want to spend like extra $99 on a denoiser software just try to introduce some kind of artificial light or something and you should be good to go so those are the five tips which you need to keep in mind while trying to shoot in the night with this osmo pocket if you have got any questions just let me know in the comment section below smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated i will see you in my next video Peace.